So this is now take two of the Turbo Wing Buggy. I was, it was such a nice video. And then the phone rang. So here we are doing it again. This is the Turbo Wing Buggy. As I've stated, it is the Radio Shack edition. Um, King of the Buggy. It says it's the off-road special, which... I mean, you know, when I think of an off-road car, I think of more like... I don't know, maybe like a truck or an SUV. Especially like a Jeep, maybe. With like, you know, some... It's lifted with some big wheels, which... No offense, I don't think of these as like big wheels. But if you remember from the uh, Apex One video... These wheels go all the way down. So right now, I'm touching the rim... So there's nothing, so they're not that good of wheels either. So, I mean, that's definitely not, like, off-road wheels. Especially not these back ones either, like, I mean, obviously, same thing, touching the rim. Oh, listen, you can hear it. The rims are sort of cool, but, I mean, yeah, there's nothing there. And even if I could get this to run, you can't really, because, as you can see, there's rim back there. So you're looking at rim. Why are you looking at rim? Well, because... This piece right here is ripped, so, I mean, yeah, it's all stuck, or it got ripped, probably, I don't know, from being old and stuff, because, I mean, this car is pretty old, so, yeah, I ran it once, and it runs, yeah, it runs, it goes like this, it goes, and shakes because of that back wheel, and it also probably shakes a little, too, because of the uh, shocks, I mean, it's got shocks on everywhere just like a regular car but I mean they're not that good of shocks I mean I guess for uh, this purpose they're good shocks I mean but they're kinda obviously old they look a little worn and maybe this one looks even a little bent and some of them well actually I think hold up yeah all of them have rust on them like the f back goes back sort of sort of good and the front I mean it's not that good I mean if you can see it goes oh actually I guess it goes down a little farther than I thought and then there's actually even more springs uh, there's springs right here and there and those are for the front bumper which I don't quite get what it's for I mean just maybe to help on impact but like oh yeah I'm having to put a lot of force to get it to go so I mean it's probably more for harder hits it does I'd say the body looks kind of cool I mean I like this big front bumper I like the more uh, like dirt track body I like that nice big back bumper just like a dirt car you know it's it actually is like a wing like one of those wing dirt cars I can't think of the name of it right now I'm sorry but you know because the big uh, wing right here and all that and I really think uh, one of the things that kind of looks weird on it is the uh, exhaust right here. One, because, I mean, obviously it's fake. It is kind of cool, though. If you look underneath, it's just, I mean, it's just plastic, just like that. Which, be, it'd be cool if it was like, if this was like a nitro car and uh, that was an actual exhaust. I just noticed it said uh, Supreme Quality by, oh, by Pennzoil. I did not notice that before. It's actually kind of funny. Obviously, it's the number six. It says, Rally Champ, Wing Buggy, King of the Buggy. I mean, it's got all sorts of things that would make it look, seem like it's good, which I don't know if it is. I mean, it says it's the Turbo Wing Buggy. And as you can see by this remote, the remote says, Turbo Wing Buggy to Radio Shack. And so, see, I think this is really cool. So... You know, it, can, it shows you how fast you're going by color. And that way last red one, it actually says turbo on it, so maybe that would give it like a little kick. I don't know. But, so, if you look at this, so I turn it on, right? The red light comes on. But it's not a light, because I turn it off, or I turn it on, flip it over. Hey, there's no light. Uh, or no battery. That's because I put the battery over there, just to show you guys this. So, see, it still says it's on, though. And now, if I put the battery in the correct way, or in, I guess, at all, I mean, it still does the same thing. 
Speaking of batteries, though, this beast takes eight whole... Oh, dude, it sits... I'm not even touching it, and it's sitting. It takes eight batteries, if you can see. Two, four, six, and then eight. <coughs> All double A's, which that's a lot to find in a house. Unless you have, like, a battery stash. The only bad thing is, is the batteries... I mean, the batteries work, obviously, but they don't like to work with this car. Because if you can see all this white stuff right here, also up here, it should be a shiny metal, like a shiny silver. But it's not since it's all old. It's got all sorts of, like, calcium and stuff on it. Or, uh, like, I guess it's sort of like rust. But, so, like, these two, there's the springs and then, I guess, I don't know, maybe they're called conductors. <coughs> That's what I would call it. The conductors seem to, uh, that's probably why it doesn't run. One, because it, I don't like having to find eight AA batteries. And two, because since it's getting a, uh, it's not getting enough electricity to run. And I also think, so the motor that's in here, it's all silver and stuff. So maybe that would be another reason why, uh, it doesn't quite run. Because I'm guessing that that the motor is um uh got like rust or dirt or in it somehow speaking of dirt if you look up here so there's all these white dots on it but then if you turn it around so there's just like that one and i think hold up yeah i'm guessing it's just like uh paint or dirt not paint uh probably just dirt or like you know when it's wet out on like a gravel road it looks like that stuff because I mean it um, yeah but honestly I feel like they did a really good job constructing it especially like the decals because I mean <coughs> this car looks old one because I mean it's all dirty and stuff too it's got this you know the giant uh, antenna coming out of it the controller looks super old and I mean but they did a good job if all the stickers or the decals and stuff are still on it. Obviously, it's dirty and the tires didn't last. But, oh yeah, listen. <coughs> it's very squeaky, but... Oh, yo, I just noticed it actually has a... A, uh... <coughs> a steering... <coughs> My bad, everybody. I'm so sorry. It has a steering wheel in there and... Hold up, does it work? I mean, I can move it, but it doesn't work. It's all dusty in there and stuff. So, um, I'd probably give the... <coughs> <coughs> Gee golly, my throat's tickling. I think the, uh, I'd rate the Turbo Wing Buggy, the Off-Road Special Radio Shack Edition. Um, I think... Underground RC reviews would probably give it uh, maybe a six, just like the number, just because of, you know, it's kind of old and broken. But I mean, uh, I think that's all for today. You know, like, subscribe, share the video, comment, do whatever you want. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.